23. Although steel is denser than water, a steel needle or a paperclip placed carefully lengthwise on the surface of still water can be made to float. Explain at a molecular level how this is possible. And then we have this lovely picture over here. Okay, so what this picture is depicting is seems like you have water in a measuring cup. I see that we're talking about like a Pyrex measuring cup because I see these like uh, red symbols that's usually in a measuring cup, like if you're cooking or something. And here on top is that steel needle. And as you can see, the steel needle is on top of all of this water. Now, technically they said that steel is denser than water. And remember, denser materials will sink. So generally, this steel needle should have sunk all the way to the bottom because it's denser than water. But if you place it lengthwise, um, you will be able to have that needle uh, float. And what's going on here? Well, we're dealing with water, right? We're talking about water here, so that's H2O. So there's tons of H2Os around this needle. So I guess for case and purposes, let's see. Okay, black seems like the best color for this picture. Red, not so much. Blue, blue's okay. I guess we'll stick with black. So basically, I'm just going to draw a couple of water molecules here. So I have maybe a water like this, and we already know what the Lewis structure looks like with water, right? It's got two uh, lone pairs and two um, hydrogens, right, with the single bond. So here is one. Maybe I'll, I'm just drawing this to represent that it's below the needle. So the needle's flowing this way. That single bond is technically underneath that needle. Um, let's see. You kind of get the idea, right? Okay, so I drew four of them. Now, remember, the special thing about water, which I'll draw here, is that for all of the intermolecular forces that it has, it has hydrogen bonding. Now, hydrogen bonding is a top of, type of intermolecular force. And remember, intermolecular forces are forces that exhibit between two distinct molecules. They are not talking about the forces that are inside of one molecule. It's the force or the attractiveness that holds the two molecules together or be, you know, become attractive to each other. So hydrogen bonding is the strongest intermolecular force. And it's because of water's OH bond. Remember, in order for you to hydrogen bond, you have to have an OH, NH, or FH bond. So when you start ganging up tons of water molecules, they're all going to be hydrogen bonding with each other. And it's always because of that negative oxygen, because oxygen is more electronegative, coming together with the positive hydrogen of another water molecule. So you would make that intermolecular force by drawing a dotted line. So this oxygen, which is partial negative, will hydrogen bond with that partial positive. This partial negative oxygen will hydrogen bond with this partial positive. Opposites attract, especially in hydrogen bonding. And you can kind of see now that instead of having one, two, three, four distinct and independent water molecules, they now are all connected by the hydrogen bonding. And we're now talking about it in terms of thousands of water molecules. I mean, you have a large surface here. And what happens is if you have a lot of hydrogen bonding, especially for you know, water molecules, this will increase your surface tension. Basically, because since your water molecules are now acting as one unit, it kind of makes a mesh or a layer, a surface layer. 
because you're now ganging up. You're like building a water army. And since you're building up surface tension, right, you're, you are making a mesh, we'll say, making a mesh on the top layer, What's going to happen is that top layer is going to be very, 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 very strong. It's going to take a lot of force since you have a high surface tension. It's going to take a lot of force to plunge right through that meshwork, that army. So that's why that denser steel needle can sit or float right on top of water because those water molecules are not acting independently. They're now an army of hydrogen bonding that basically holds the top uh, skin or mesh of the, the top layer of water so that a lot of stuff doesn't penetrate through, especially a needle or a steel uh, or a paper clip. So uh, increase surface tension, increase hydrogen bonding. That's the intermolecular force, which I'll just put as IMFs, intermolecular force, IMF. And you make a mesh on that top layer. So the, uh, we'll talk, we'll say the steel needle will rest on top of that layer. And that's it. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 35,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for being part of this community and for getting the word out there, helping the channel grow. I'm really glad that we can give you great quality educational content out there and that you're learning from us. So let's just keep learning. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.